House does not appear to be happy with the press coverage that President Biden is getting. The White House is saying the press corps just doesn't understand him and won't give him a fair shake. Mm -hmm. Even though President Biden has done fewer interviews than his immediate predecessors, in a recent interview, White House Communications Director Kate Bedingfield said this. This is a quote. There has been a fundamental disbelief, particularly among the D.C. East Coast press corps, in Biden's vision, in his strategy, in his tactics, and his ability to do the things that he said he would do. It probably doesn't help when the president loses his cool with reporters, like cussing out our Peter Ducey. I'm sorry, lost my mind. For a second. <laughs> there have been several instances of this, including this from yesterday. Clarify for midterm voters, top domestic issue, inflation fresh. or abortion. All important. Unlike you, there's no one thing. It crosses the board. There's a multiple, multiple, multiple issues, and they're all important. And so, and we ought to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. You know that old expression. Among the only press in the world that does this. Seriously. Hey, what the hell? What do you do over there? When did I say I was coming? You don't understand that. You're That's not what I said. You, you're, you're playing a game with me. I know. I mean, he's had so many times, right? Can we just go to the big board for a second? Press conferences. Because if he doesn't want to sit down, he could always do it this way. I mean, less than half mm. of his most recent predecessors. Trump and Obama tied. Look at that. And, and remember, Trump, that was in four years. Obama was in office. But, 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 we're only taking just a glimpse, just a year, right? Biden's behind the times. Laura, you know, it's, it's hard to take the White House seriously on this because we have the back of him walking away from perfectly good opportunities in a very formal setting with reporters, which is the definition of a press conference for him to get together. But the sit-downs, forget about it. It's hard to take any of this seriously because when do we see Joe Biden, when he's in front of a camera, he is highly scripted. He's either literally reading off of a teleprompter or it might be his little ice cream photo op he likes to do occasionally. But it is never in a, a really serious setting where Harris, as you're saying, reporters get to ask questions and he answers them and they have a, a, a discussion about the real issues Americans are facing. Heck, I remember back to his predecessor, my father-in-law, President Donald Trump. Imagine for one moment mm -hmm. they treated Joe Biden for 30 seconds like they treated Donald Trump. Short of bottle feeding him and rocking him to sleep, they baby <laughs> Joe Biden unlike anything I have ever seen before. It is actually amazing. And of course, the sad part is we don't know who's running the show. That is what's really frightening to Americans. Who is in charge of our country? Who's making decisions? We can't get answers from Joe Biden. And a lot of people, Harris, have a lot of questions still unanswered. Mm -hmm. We did get some information this week, um, just to your point. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a huge kernel, but it's a little bit, that Dr. Jill Biden actually has been vetting White House officials. She's not elected. Mm. Yeah. So, yep. I mean, mm. we know that part of the job is being done by mm. his wife. Let me say it again. She's not elected. Mm -hmm. So, Guy, when you look at the situation, you know that access to a president is particularly important, even when the country's pretty much going well. Mm -hmm. When over 70 percent of people say it's not, mm. it's critical that you sit down with the president of the United States. Yep. And he's finally done a couple sit-downs in the last few weeks, 60 minutes. And how have CNN. those gone? Oh. I wouldn't say terribly well. Uh, there's also a difference between answering a couple of questions, screaming over the engine of Marine One versus a formal press conference, <laughs> the opportunity for follow-up questions, to drill down on things beyond just talking points. There's a difference. I think people understand that. I just want to take a step back, though, to the quote from Bedingfield and just this, this sort of vein of whining from the White House. If you are a Democrat in office and you are complaining about how unfair the news media is to you, mm -hmm. you are losing. Mm -hmm. The news media in mainstream newsrooms across this country, it is overwhelmingly populated as a group by progressive liberal Democrats. They get every break almost every single time from almost every single reporter out there. So if you have that kind of home field advantage with the press and you still feel like it's just so unfair to you, I think that that is a much bigger revelation about your political fortunes than anything else. Ooh, preach. And, and, okay, let's just talk about an example just this week. John Fetterman and the NBC reporter yeah, who had the exactly. audacity to tell the truth 
about what she had witnessed and experienced as she was trying to talk with that senatorial candidate in the toss-up state of Pennsylvania. She told the truth that it was difficult for him, that he needed a monitor, that he needed help post-stroke by many months. She told the truth and she was vilified mm -hmm. by the legacy media. Oh, beware the cannibalism of that legacy media, of the Democrat Party, because if you dare to think for yourself, if you dare to step out, you will be cannibalized. Let's talk about our president for a second. It's, it's, it would be amusing if it wasn't so frightening and just exhausting to me that our president is the kind of person who, when asked about inflation as he was munching an ice cream cone that is encompassed by or comprised of eggs over 30% inflation and milk over 15% inflation in a, in a building that now has to pay over six times the rent it used to, that when a reporter asked him about inflation, he took a bite of ice cream so yep. he wouldn't have to ask. Mm. But you know what he had no problem articulating? Is when he told a little girl, don't have a serious boyfriend until you're 30. No. And oh, when she said, what do you say? She behind. said it again. Yep. So he had no problem saying that sentence twice. Yep. We got to hear that with full candor, with full articulation, that's our president. But he refuses to acknowledge or answer all the questions we have about security and inflation and the southern border, et cetera. No, in fact, he'll just call our reporters and Peter Ducey an SOB. He'll call a college student who dared to ask a question a dog-faced pony soldier. It goes on. That's who's in charge. That's this America under his watch. So I, my day is complete at work today because <laughs> I actually heard you say dog pony. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That I'll just great. be really quick and say that's what happens though when they unleash him. Then they have to do, as you like to say, the cleanup on aisle seven, right? Because yeah. you can't control what's going to come out of his mouth. And I would like to see for just one moment a press room with the press corps and, and President Biden taking just even a smidge of the vitriol that they used to spew okay. at Donald Trump and see if he could possibly even handle it. That's why they don't put him out there. But not even the left leaning press can make sense of what he's saying or what KJP is saying because it is so mumbled, jumbled, confusing um, that they don't even get it. And so they want to be on his side, but they can't. Yeah. So when the questions come, why did you wait so long to talk about crime, the border inflation? And the answer is abortion. Mm -hmm. Even reporters on the left have to say, huh? But it should be a lot more than that. We'll see. What, let's just see if they do their job. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.